As always, shout out to the JSU faithful D. I love. Look, I did some film study on the last game, and I want to ask the question. When you sign a guy like Travis Hunter, the number one recruit in the country, to a HBCU that's not used to getting traditionally number one recruits in the modern area, does that create a problem? And does Coach Prime and JSU have a Travis Hunter problem? Well, if you think they do, I'm going to tell you right here on this video why that's the best problem to have. The Lit House is J-S-U. You. 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 So cheer for dear old J-S-U. Lead on to victory. All aboard, all aboard upon JSU. All aboard, all aboard for old JSU. All aboard, all aboard, yes, JSU. Lead on to victory. Shout out for, to everybody for tuning in. Y'all make sure y'all run the likes up, share the video, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. We got a goal around here um, because we believe in supporting the content creators. Shout out to everybody in the Lit House. Shout out to everybody in New Media, uh, Barcelona's the World. Shout out to the JSU Nation. Uh, y'all make sure we get over 100 likes starting this video off. We appreciate you all for pulling up. Also, show some love to the Cash App and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's very important that you do so. As content creators, it's difficult for us to get noticed through the algorithm unless you guys are, are running those likes up. Sharing love to the Cash App just allows us to be able to make upgrades to the channel. Sometimes go to the game, cover the game the way that you want to see it, um, and just expand the space, expand the community. So we appreciate you all. Um, when JSU signed Travis Hunter, some people say they stole him, but when they signed Travis Hunter, it was one of the biggest off-field moments in the history of uh, HBCU football. SWAC football overall. You had a guy that could have went to any university in the land. A lot of people have pegged, as far as talent, as a surefire first-round talent. Not only going to an HBCU, but spurning at the last minute, quote-unquote, Power 5 schools. When a kid puts that much trust in you and has that much love for the vision and it creates the enemies that that created, because you better believe that created some enemies abroad. That's why Coach Nick Saban came out and was critical to begin with because he feels threatened. He feels like his dynasty is falling. Uh, well, it, it's in decline. You have teams on his West in Texas A&M and LSU with new coaches, uh, Jimbo Fisher. We're not really new, but Jimbo Fisher and, and Brian Kelly at LSU. And then, you know, you have Georgia in the East. Now you have right in his backyard in Mississippi, about 160 miles away from Tuscaloosa, you got in the city of Jackson, the powerhouse that is Jackson State University, and Coach Prime. So a lot of people were disturbed, and they felt like this is a move because of the cultural ties and, and, and the threat that HBCUs have always posed to, you know, traditional powerhouse schools. If we ever get it together, you know, they felt like, you know, this is a move that, 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 that you know, could threaten their recruiting. They're right. They're right in their thought process. So when you put all that together... And a kid like Travis has entrusted his NFL prospects and his future in you, then to some people that can become a problem. To some people that can become quote unquote entitlement. But thankfully at JSU, we got the perfect man for the job. Coach Prime is the perfect man to deal with a quote unquote heavy expectations. When you get a guy like that, you got to feature him. 
when you get a guy like that, every opportunity you have to showcase his talent, to showcase what he can do on the field, you got to go out there and allow him to do it. He is, every time he puts on a jersey that says JSU, that's a recruiting pitch to a top five, top four, uh, well, I'm sorry, a five-star, four-star um, athlete, receiver, cornerback. Travis Hunter is a walking, you can do it too. So the, the, the plays I'm about to show, fair use at, the plays that I'm about to show on the screen, yes, these plays are not the greatest concept. They're not the greatest uh, plays to call in the situation. But like I said on the live stream that game, I said, I understand. I understand. I understand why you got to try to get on the ball in this situation. Because he's already going to have an asterisk to a certain extent from other, from NFL teams, some NFL teams, and uh, Power Fives are going to be downgrading him because they're going to save the level of competition he's playing against. So for guys like him and Shadur and Shiloh and Aubrey Miller Jr., when they jump off the screen, when they jump off tape, they got to jump off tape. And when you're playing a quarterback position, being a lockdown like Travis is going to be, he's not going to have a lot of opportunities to really showcase defensively why he's this talented prospect. And even when he does, they're going to chalk it up to the level of competition. Yeah, he shut down this level of um, this level of, of a wide receiver, but can he do it on the next level? So you give him as many opportunities possible. You give him as many opportunities possible to showcase his talent offensively. Because after a while, you see a guy returning kicks. You see a guy out there in the slots. You see a guy out there in the Z catching touchdowns, X catching touchdowns, and intercepting the ball, and wrapping up and tackling. And you know what I'm saying? Doing all of these things. After a while, it's going to be like, okay, we can't deny this kid's talent. So I understand what Coach Prime is doing, and this is the best problem to have. Hey, give JSU 50 problems that are five stars. We'll take them. I want to get into the film, though. I want to watch some things from the game, and let's discuss what Travis can work on and what he will work on. And I think the number one thing is the weight room. I think the number one thing is the weight room. Look at this right here. This is a situation where because he is a freshman, he is coming fresh out of high school, this cornerback that is um, lined up against him is in press technique for the majority of the game because he didn't want to get into a foot race with Travis Hunter. So what he was trying to do, and he was getting away with a lot of pass interference calls, if you ask me. What he was trying to do is jam him and knock him off of his route. All of these things are fixable. All of these things are learning moments. So I don't have any problem with the call. I don't have any problem with taking that shot to try to reward Travis Hunter. He has not played since the FAMU game. He's been patient. He's trusted the JSU staff. He's trusted Coach Prime. He's waited his turn, and now you're giving the guy an opportunity, an opportunity to make a play. I have no problem with this. And the weight room is going to cure all this bully ball that these corners are trying to play on traps. That's him down there at the bottom of the screen. Look at this. He tries to get his hands on him immediately to knock him off his route. Once again, physical ball in the air could have been a pass interference. So I have no problem with taking a shot right there to Travis Hunter because I understand how important he is to recruiting, how important he is to change. No, look, this young man, if he asked for it or not, and I'm sure Coach, Rob, Coach Sanders has talked to him about the level of expectations that are going to come with him being at this university. Whether he likes it or not, Travis Hunter is setting an example to our athletes that it's okay to be a five-star athlete and go play at an HBCU. And you can be drafted in the first round consistently playing at an HBCU, playing in the SWAT. So 
When a guy has all of that on his shoulders, you reward him for that. You reward him and allow him every opportunity to be great. You afford him every opportunity to be great. You understand what I'm saying? Let's keep going. See, this is another play. Now, this one was a little bit more forced, but I still understand the concept. I still understand why they did it. You are on the verge of beating a very game Campbell team. This is a statement game. This is a homecoming game. You're not cherry picking anybody. You're playing a very competitive team that has four NFL draft prospects. So you want to feature your guys. You want to bring it home with your guys. Shadour Sanders and Travis Hunter, right? So you're trying to seal the game right here. This is your opportunity. So Travis, once again, man is in press coverage. He doesn't press him immediately off the line of scrimmage. He lets him get two yards. The rule of football is you got five yards to press the man. After five yards, get your hands off him. The man all the way in the end zone still pressing. All of these things can be fixed. All of these issues can be fixed with the weight room. And I'll live with that interception 10 out of 10 times if it's going to give me Travis Hunter recruiting. We can't be overly critical. We can't be frustrated. It's going to take some growth with the young man. Uh, Coach Prime said after the game that Travis is just 75%. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. There's no need for us to be overly critical and say that this is a problem. And if it's a problem, it's a good problem to have. What y'all think, though? Do y'all think that uh, we are going out of our way or we went out of our way too much to feature Travis last game? Or are you okay with Travis being featured? All, also, do, are you of the belief that Travis Hunter should be 100% healthy before he steps back on that football field? Do you feel like he needs to be 100%? Because right now, Coach Prime says that he's 75%. Look, I appreciate the young man for bringing his talents uh, to the university. I appreciate the young man for bringing his talents back to the culture. Um, and, and, and I thank him for being great and daring to be great. And I thank Coach Prime for having the gall to dare to be great and recruit and actively recruit and and, and 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 make these young men's parents know that when they come to JSU, they're going to be taken care of. We're going to have to live with some growing pains, but if growing pains turns Travis into the player that we all know he can be, then by God, let the growing pains come. By God, I'll take that same play over and over again. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, support the channel. We'll be back with another stream Saturday. Y'all pull on back up. Y'all already know how we coming. We appreciate each and every one of y'all for all the love and support you show each and every weekend and throughout the week. Y'all show some love to the Cash App. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know what y'all think, man. Let us know what y'all think in the comment section below. Are we doing too much with Travis Hunter? Are we not doing enough from Travis Hunter? How would we like to see our brother improve? Do we feel like he needs to get in the weight room? And as always, y'all already know what it is. This is Rev signing out. D. I love JSU, and I'll see each and every one of you Saturday when that team from the team from the swamp come to town. The Lit House is JSU. You. 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 So cheer for dear old JSU, lead on to victory, all aboard, all aboard upon JSU, all aboard, all aboard for old JSU, all aboard, all aboard, yes, JSU. Lead on to victory.